This historic sites in the Cherokee Nation sits in North Georgia, right outside of Calhoun. That's where the Trail of Tears started. But as Suzanne Lawler shows us, this park is designed to let you experience Cherokee life before the turn of events that move them to Oklahoma. Uh, New Echota is uh, a partial reconstruction of the 36 buildings that would have been at the nation's capital for the Cherokee Indians in 1825 through 1835 leading up to the Trail of Tears. The Cherokee Indians lived throughout the southeast, but this land, the town of New Echota, was the epicenter. About 70 Cherokee lived and worked here. Well, many were living a lifestyle very similar to what I as a Georgia citizen would have been living in the 1830s. David Gomez oversees the area and the 12 buildings that tell the stories of the past. Middle class Cherokee cabin of the 1820s or the 1830s. By this time period, Cherokees had assimilated quite a bit. Cherokee stickball isn't really just a sport as we may think of it. It was a big cultural part of their life. It was a bilingual paper. Usually only about a third of it um, was printed in Cherokee because it was so labor intensive work to do both languages. So. The writers and printers of the Cherokee Phoenix went down in history. The black and white pages became the first Native American bilingual newspaper. It went out in the United States and in Europe. The Cherokee Phoenix newspaper continues today out in Oklahoma. Oklahoma is where the Cherokee wound up after the Trail of Tears relocated the tribes to the west. In 1835, 21 Cherokee, against the wishes of others, entered into an agreement with the government. The Cherokee would cede the land in exchange for $5 million. There was also just racial prejudice. You know, the, the native tribal folks were looked down upon, unfortunately, by the Georgia and other surrounding states, and they thought they had the legal right to take this land. <laughs> The Trail of Tears is a story for another day. New Echota is meant to show you what life looked like before Georgians came after the land. Gomez says a lot of people stop in, thinking along stereotypical lines. I think a lot of it is tied to a lot of the oral traditions that people have heard growing up. They come here very surprised at the level of assimilation that the southeastern Indian had made by the 1820s and 30s. New Echota doesn't have a happy ending, but you can take the time to learn history, listen to the winds, and reflect on chapters of the past. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. New Echota is open Tuesday through Sunday. They have nature trails for hiking, and you can call ahead to schedule a tour. For the rest of our Discover Georgia series, you can head to 13WMAZ.com to see additional pictures, videos, park information, and to plan your trip to New Echota. And even Suzanne has this is the actual copy. That's of the newspaper. Really I know, isn't it? I like it.